Katina, Katina Michael. First, there was darkness, then came the light. And the darkness was called night, and was separated from the light, and that was called day. First came the knife, and then fire, shelter, spear and clothing, the boat and the wheel, and eventually the quill. First came the printing press, the steam engine, the spinning jenny, the telegraph, the photograph, the phonograph, and of course, analytical and differential engines, and the light bulb, and the television, industrial revolution, mass production, mass markets, automobiles, urbanization, mechanization, computerization, communications and electronic highways, mega cities as big as countries, mega problems. The solution? Why, the census, of course. Senseless surveillance. Sensor-rich big data, machine learning, an internet of everything, atomized bits and pieces of things and people, decorporalization, dehumanization. Creating because we can, wars and bombs, radical innovations, computational machinery, spy satellites, high-speed trains, drones, brain-to-computer interfaces, robots, hubots, artificial intelligence, brain in a vat. Let's see how far we can go. From inventing for survival, then for the shareholders, then for convenience, then for the sheer sake of inventing. It's called need. No, it's actually greed. No, it's called optimization and efficiency. No, 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 it's called freedom and liberation. Smart grids, smart homes, smart meters, smart cars, smart people? Yes, yes. Enslavement in disguise. This is the upgrade generation, the throwaway generation. Buy a new printer, it's cheaper and faster than getting a new toner for your old one. Leave it on a heap of scrap, of e-waste. It's somebody else's environmental problem. We're the consumption generation, soldering white goods for a few dollars each. Impoverished workers' suicide, unable to cope with production demands. But that's over there, and we're over here. We're the all-you-can-eat fast food and frozen pizza generation, the genetically modified quantifiable generation, like the lifetime of DDT, persistence. We're the plastic generation. We can't bio be biodegradably broken down that easily. We're the do-it-yourselfer generation, equipped with 3D printers and electronic checkouts. We currently scan out our goods on our own while they're all too busy scanning us. <laughs> We're the always-on generation, mobile, social media, content, instant gratification, living in the cloud. We're the generation that witnesses cyberbullying and viral videos, and as a result, 13-year-olds who take their own life. We're the generation that hears about three-month-old babies dying of dehydration while their parents raise the perfect online child. We're the generation where 30-somethings forget themselves at internet cafes and can't keep a nine-to-five job. We're the generation that manufactures toxic toys for kids under three. We're the generation that wirelessly broadcasts music that glorifies murder, rape, abuse. We are living in a locked-in syndrome, like the moth effect, positive phototaxis. Look for the light! It's blue! It's coming from over there! Let me go to it and see what it's about. Oh, I'm alive. Reaffirmation, I'm not alone. Well, I'm lonely, but at least I have 1,007 online Facebook friends following me. <laughs> and I don't know most of them, but who cares? It gives me something to do. It's better than being bored. I'm coming to you, O oh screen, where art thou? Watch out. Don't get too close, because if you get too close, then you are no longer like the moth that is drawn to the light, and then zzz, zap, RIP, it's too late. Hang on, all this technology, surely some good can come from it. In touch every second of every day, out of touch, however, physically. I text you, I love you, but I'm too tired and too scared to kiss you and embrace you and make love to you. This technology is desensitizing, it's seductive. Hang on, love, just another email from the boss. The clock is ticking, but that thing is pinging. A voicemail, another email, yet another status update. 
megabytes, mega work, mega nothingness. What a nightmare. The botnets are coming. Oh, another virus. I've accidentally executed. Oh, I wonder why my supervisor hasn't replied yet. I wonder if they got my message, if they'll respond, if they hate me. Oh, I get so anxious these days. I cannot cope with all the traffic buzzing in my head. It's terrifying, really. Oops, I didn't mean to press send. <laughs> Long hours behind the computer, burning back aches, fingers arthritic, red eyes from red alerts. I've got to get home, mind meltdown, electronic slavery, technological treachery. Hang on, I'll just relax and play some Minecraft or Starcraft, or I wonder what's happening on World of Warcraft. Wow-wee. No one will notice if I'm using the boardroom to strategize for my second life. 17 windows open all at once. Why can't I concentrate like I used to? Why can't these new recruits pen something that makes sense? So many spelling errors, so much bad structure. I'll have to redo the work, but what's the time? Oh, she's on to me again. I should ignore her instant message, but I can't say no. Virtual hands, virtual death, respawn, virtual lust. I'd like to get it on with you. How old are you? Do you use Skype? Want to do some Google with me and let it hang out? Virtual sex, it's not real. Don't worry, everybody does it. It won't lead to anything. It doesn't mean anything. What the missus doesn't know won't hurt her. She cannot give me the same fix. The real is just so boring. The virtual is limitless. But why do I feel so damn guilty? I'm sure the police will never find out, just in case she's not 18. But anyway, it's just a game. Everything's a game these days. Even the trolls make light of it. But what if she's really a he? Oh, what have I got myself into? <laughs> Augmented reality, digital glass, dark glass, dark matter, dark space. Oh, this is too hard to fight against. I hate myself. I'm so addicted. <laughs> I want my iPad. Oh, these kids, I just fell asleep again after YouTubing all night. I want an iPad. Can't be coming from my two-year-old, can it? Get off the computer. You've got to go to football. I tell off my ten-year-old. He responds throwing a tantrum. I want iPad. I want iPod. I want Google Glass. I want iPlant. What? iPlant? Is that what they're talking about next? Weird, sick, wicked, wretched. No, it's probably the mark of the beast. Embedded implants for single sign-on logins. They will save so much time. But there's never enough time. And there's never a winner or an end to those massively online multiplayer role-playing games. I wonder if they'll inv invent more than just a kill switch. What? Embedded security hacks? How'd that work? Remote controlled? What control? What do you mean I just jack in? Aha, uh -huh. no choice to remove a total loss of control. They know who you are, where you are, where you're going and what condition you're in. And they can even prove it biometrically. Michael had dubbed it ubervalence long ago. Big dog beckons as do the microscopic drones. A world of watch is about to explode. Some of the Hubots will even be paid to watch and record you. What you do as you go about your business. High-tech mimicry, manipulation of the masses, exploitation. We believe Wikipedia and rely on Google search. We want to share our GPS coordinates and take pictures of our food and our nakedness. Benchmarking, that's what it's about, benchmarking how fit we are or how unfit we are in mind and body. But wait till our everyday objects come alive like the smoke detector that never lies and answers all your questions from the ceiling of your own home. Just look, let me demonstrate. What should I eat for breakfast? What's the fastest animal on earth? Who or what should I believe in? It's all propaganda, disinformation, information annihilation. Nobody knows you're a dog on the internet and soon no one will know the difference between virtual and physical. It started with the ENIAC and from the ENIAC to the mainframe, from the mainframe to the mini computer, from the mini computer to the desktop, from the desktop to the laptop, from the laptop to the netbook, from the netbook to the implantable device. We skipped the wearable, but don't worry, you know all of it. Can't you see the patterns, my friends? Can't you see what we've become and are becoming? Marching to the beat of the machine, it's the elephant in the room. Look, can't you see it? It's the emperor parading naked down the street. Look, there he goes, can't you see it? Internet addiction is real. Mobile addiction is real. Gaming addiction is real. The social implications are real. We all know they're real because we all know someone is suffering. It's like the elephant in the room and the emperor. We all know it's around us right here, right now. So when, when are we going to take responsibility? <laughs>